Hey guys, welcome back to the Medbros channel and today I want to do a video on confidence. So I've been reading through the comments on the last few videos and uh, there's been some interesting suggestions for video ideas and confidence caught my eye because I feel like I can give an interesting perspective on how to build confidence, what it means to have confidence, um, and how there's a misperception on what is a confident person. So before we get into it, I also want to talk about another video idea I had, uh, which would be a Q&A. So a lot of you guys know Shaman already. He's been on, put out a lot of videos along with Beneath. And I thought, you know, you guys still don't really know too much about me. So if you guys have any questions about me, about anything really that I can try my best to answer, go ahead and put it in the comments of this video or you can DM me on Instagram. So let's get right into it. So my first thing I want to talk about is what exactly is confidence? Because confidence comes in a variety of forms. I think the main thing people think of when they think of confidence is um, a guy or girl that walks around with their shoulders high, that uh, speaks whatever's on their mind, that's always you know speaking in a confident tone, always giving their opinion. Um, and that's true. While that are some components of confidence, I don't think it's that simple. And I think there's a lot of uh, confident people that uh, are confident in themselves and confident in what they do, but don't outwardly show that kind of generic definition of confidence. For example, let's say there's an individual who's really introverted and is really into their computer science and they're in their room, you know, coding and doing all sorts of computer science-y things. So when this individual goes out in public and he's kind of sitting in the corner, not really talking to people, uh, some people might view this individual as not confident, but he might be really, really confident in a different setting. So yes, you take that guy out to a party, take him out of his element, he's not gonna be confident. But if you take him and you guys go to some kind of computer science convention or something, he can, he will probably flip the switch and be the most confident person in the room. So what is the underlying principle I'm trying to get at here? The main thing that I think is the core element to building confidence is mastering new experiences, trying new things again and again and again, so that you are exposed to a wide range of just life experiences. That is, I think, the number one thing to build confidence. It could start from small things. If you go to visit a new city and you explore and you become comfortable with that city, you're adding something to your arsenal of knowledge and uh, just overall being that is going to give you confidence. If you learn how to do something simple like change a tire or in your career, if you learn how to start an IB, there's gonna be a boost to your confidence. Uh, these things slowly, slowly start adding up until you be this confident person that you want to be. Say you live in San Francisco and you want to take a girl out on a date, you're going to be a lot more confident if you know exactly what the plan is for the day because you're more confident and comfortable with that city, you have uh, you know the places to eat, you know the things to order, you know where to park. Simple things like that are going to come together and make you a more confident person. On the other hand, you cannot have had those experiences um, and you can be spending your whole day <laughs> worrying about where you're going to park, who's going to pay, how does it work, uh, where do I take her next, what's the day's plan. So do you see what I'm saying? Like there's all these little things that come together to make you a confident person and the key component for all of that, it's experience. It's getting out there, doing new things, meeting new people, um, which is what you're gonna hear in these like confidence pep talks. But I think that's more of them just telling you, do it, do it, do it, do it, uh, and not really giving you a reasoning behind it. And the reasoning is you want to build up this arsenal of experiences to back up who you are. So what I'm trying to get at is create an actual set of abilities that you have that you can project and you can say, this is why I'm confident. You have a backing. It's going to make it a lot easier for you to go out there and portray yourself as this confident individual. And also understand that confidence comes in a variety of forms. So a confident person isn't just the generic kind of thing you hear about. Don't perceive a disinterest in certain things as not confidence. And that also, don't do that to yourself. If you feel like, oh, you know, I just like sitting in this corner at this party and you're comfortable with that and you're happy with that and you don't wanna be over there, you know, doing anything, 
just be confident in yourself. That's a part of confidence. Don't let that, don't tell yourself, I'm not a confident person, that's why I'm not over there. You could be totally confident in yourself, it's just something that's not you, and that's totally okay as well. So I also don't claim to be the most confident person in the world. You know, everyone's always improving, everyone always has something to work on. So for example, I am way more confident now than I was two years ago when I first started medical school. So if you are a person out there and you're in like high school and you're worried, why am I not confident? Confident, don't worry about it like that is something that is going to come with life don't stress about it don't think uh, there's something wrong with you you just have to put more experience under your belt uh, if you're scared to talk to that girl in, in your class if you're scared to talk to people the fact of the matter is you're going to stay scared until you do something about it and you go and do these things and that's where the element of fake it till you make it comes in is you go out there if it's your first time doing something fake it until you finally get that under your belt. So next time you can actually and genuinely carry it out. So make sure you go also go into these experiences with the right perspectives. If this doesn't work out, this is not gonna bring me down. I'm just going to try again a different way. I'm gonna try again and learn from my mistakes or even if it wasn't a mistake, even if you did everything right, you just need to try again because eventually you're gonna find what works. Two years ago, I would never ever be sitting out here in Benit's setup here, which I've stolen now after stealing Jamin's, and be talking to a camera and trying to upload this to YouTube. That would just never be happening two years ago. It's all progression, and another big factor that I just wanna close on is the people you surround yourself with. I, again, would not be doing this if it wasn't for Shaman and Benit, who, you know, pumped me up and said, Dude, the stupid stuff you say all the time, just go and say it in front of the camera and you know, people will like it. Um, and apparently some of you do, and thank you for that. The main idea I'm trying to get across is the people around you are definitely gonna influence your confidence level. If you have friends or family or anybody that's kind of bringing you down, it's going to affect your confidence. It's gonna affect your ability to go out and do those things that I've been mentioning. So you really want a crowd and you really want friends that are gonna build you up, that are gonna encourage you to try those new things, try them with you. You guys can work on building your confidence together. And that is another factor to take into account uh, in your journey to become this amazing, confident person that we all wanna be. Everyone was unconfident at one point in their life about something. So if we take somebody like these doctors at these hospitals that I follow, that uh, you know you look up to and you think are these confident people walking around, and then you take one of them and you throw them in like a salsa dance class, they're not gonna be looking so confident. So it's all a matter of perspective, it's all a matter of experience. And if that doctor had taken salsa classes, he would be walking in there like a pro. So, so thank you guys for watching and any questions that you have for me, definitely get them down in the YouTube comments or out on my Instagram. And make sure you check out my Instagram. And I'm looking forward to making a Q&A video. And I'm looking forward for you guys to get to know me and hopefully I get to know more about you guys as well as we go forward. So thanks again guys for watching and listening and hearing me say the word confident like a hundred times. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one.